Next weather maker is pushing into southwestern Montana this afternoon. Here's a 2 p.m. update on increasing snow showers for Butte and a quick look at some of the MDT road cameras. Norris Hill is starting to see some increasing snow showers as well as the West Yellowstone and Yellowstone National Park areas down along the Montana-Idaho state line. Ray Reynolds Pass at Montana 87 is seeing some snow. Menida already picked up a little bit of snow here this afternoon and you can see it's starting to increase around Butte and Elk Park there as well including Homestake Pass. We're starting to see some increasing snow showers here a little after 2 o'clock and it's been snowing pretty steadily over Lookout Pass again along the Montana-Idaho state line in far western Montana. So there's the next weather maker. This low pressure system is spinning in and it will bring periodic wraparound bands of snowfall through the afternoon and evening hours. So winter weather advisories cover most of our region uh, through about 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. So all of our mountain passes will be picking up periods of snow and with the colder temperatures trying to move in, uh, the snow will be sticking and snow covered in icy roads guaranteed overnight and into early tomorrow morning. So a winter weather advisory means there's going to be some wintry travel concerns, especially for our mountain passes this evening and into tomorrow morning. Updated TrueView snowfall forecast numbers still coming in with about two to four, three to six inches around West Yellowstone, maybe up to a foot around uh, Big Sky and around Cook City. But lower valleys could be picking up a couple of inches, especially on grassy areas. So keep an eye out for changing weather conditions this afternoon and evening. It's going to be often on snow showers for Butte with temperatures dropping well below freezing after sunset. Now it might be a rain or rain-snow mix for Bozeman, but eventually will change over to snow after 9 o'clock tonight.